Welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about careful things that we right. won't get in trouble for on the internet. That's right. AKA, AKA careful boys. Careful boys. Careful boys. Careful boys. Careful boys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Welcome back to Careful Boys, where we talk about safe things. Safe things that don't put us in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. Things that we won't get in trouble for on the interweb. And today, we have Lawrence Cow with us hey. here. Hey, 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 guys. Let's talk about some safe stuff. 2021, guys. Hello, what? children. What do we call it when there's a woman sitting in that seat? Careful, uh... Careful, careful. genders. Careful, ooh, careful genders. Careful peoples. Careful equity. Careful equity. Yeah. Is that too far? No, no I just careful. punch him in the face because it's all about equality. <laughs> <laughs> careful boys and bitches. Yeah, careful boys careful and bitches, boy and I punch him in the they're, face. They're the representative of boys, B-O-I-Z, so it's like non- What's a B-O-I-Z? That's boys hood Z. for boys. Oh, oh like the boys in the hood? I know B-O-I-S is like boys, like boys. Boy. That's like Illinois. It's like um, boys in Idaho. Oh, I see that. Oh, okay. cool. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. College football. Boys, you gotta throw like a Z in there. Boys. It's like King does with a Z or Jabwalk. Oh, that's Here what we makes go. it gangsta. We bit the Jabwalkies oh, shit, yeah. that we wanted to be more hip-hop. Always bring up Jabwalkies. Always Off up. camera, always bring up Jabwalkies. <laughs> Remember how you never been to a strip club? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah, never been. Why? I just never had None that. None of your boys had like a bachelor party or anything like that? No. You just refused to go? What? Not it really. was always the guys in relationships that were like, oh, we gotta go to uh, the strip club for your birthday. And I'm all like, why? <laughs> and then they used me as an excuse. And I'm like, Once you get there, okay, you find out. Whatever, yeah. They ignore and you. they're the ones that fucking do all this shit. And I'm just you right now, like, anybody who I uses you for an excuse, let them. They need it. They for deserve it. For my 18th it. birthday, they took me to a strip club. And then they bought me a lap dance, and I was like, that's it? Did you like it? Yeah, and, the, and meanwhile, they have like $5,000 private room stuff in the back. Yeah. yeah. And they had a good time. They spent hundreds of money. Yeah. Strip clubs are like graduations. You don't fucking celebrate graduation for yourself because you put in work. You celebrate graduations for your family so your parents oh. can like be proud of something. Same thing. Strip clubs, you that's don't actually analogy. go for you, right? You. You're going you go for your for friends and you go for your friends who are in relationships and your other friends that get no action from women. <laughs> exactly. I took a buddy to a bachelor party. This is like I don't know a decade ago, and we go and he gets 14 lap dances. Holy shit! He's the guy getting married, by the way. Did he so, bust nuts in his khakis? I mean, bro. 14. <laughs> I've never seen someone get so many lap dances ever, and we all just kept paying for his lap dances. Yeah. So by the end of the night, we counted up. 14. I'm like, dude, you fucking cheated, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's got you are a cheating though. piece of shit, there, dude. Is there a limit, though, of like, at what point where you go, man, that's no longer a meal, that's a buffet. Yeah, double digits is fucking dude. cheating, bro. <laughs> that is crazy. That's well, <clears throat> is it that's too 14 much. separate girls? Or was it like one girl maybe like did a really good job coercing him to like eight songs in a row? There was definitely some double, di double dipping, yeah. for sure, but not the same girl every time. Not say, you know, I'm an analyst in this field or anything like that, but you know, they, they're really smart with their song choice thing. Cause you know, it's like a, a lap dance, is, if you didn't know, a lap dance is a song. So like when the song plays, it's like- It's usually just goes. like the hook or the verse or even shorter than yeah. that. It's definitely yeah, like the radio the remix. Like makes it it's like the karaoke version. Yeah. How would you curate my, my first strip club experience? Like what would you do? It's gotta be Vegas. It's better than LA. Yeah. Vegas? Well, you But know, Tijuana's really good too, cause I heard that it's a brothel. When you like really have no <laughs> expectations and your standards are like really, really low, LA is like kinda tight. And it's called Hong mm. Kong, I heard. Hong Kong? Yeah, that's the strip club in Tijuana, I heard. Hong Kong. Oh, I heard about, about that. that. And I heard it's not a strip club, I heard it's a brothel. It's a brothel, yeah. it's not a stripper, oh. strip club. Oh, cause my friend was like. About this spot. Cause my friend was friends like. Friends of friends. I've never been. I just went on a bachelor party and they were talking about it. Oh, oh right? Oh, they were talking about it. In Interesting. Where'd you go? So originally we were supposed to go to Lake Tahoe, but it, it caught on fire. Oh, right. Was it two weeks ago? Because I was about to go too. It was two weeks ago, and then uh, and they were like, "Oh, you know what? Like, let's." They're from Atlanta, so they were like, "Yeah, let's go to San Francisco." I'm like, "All right, okay, cool. Let's go to San Francisco," but they don't really know the general area that well, so they 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 sent like the Airbnb to the group me, and it was San Jose. What? <laughs> And Gino, I was like, dude. dude, this is not San Francisco. <laughs> so we went to San Jose. So we were in San Jose oh, no. for like three days. For a anyway. bachelor party. Yeah, for a bachelor party. We did go into San Francisco for a little bit. Were they Vietnamese? Um, no. Interesting. Filipino. Okay. We had some good fun. You know, the San Francisco, <laughs> the San Francisco 49ers play in Cupertino, California. Do they? San Francisco has kind of uh, expanded, okay. if you will. Yeah. 
Oh shit. But calling San Jose, San Francisco, yeah, that's like calling San Diego, LA. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's nothing to do in San Jose. So that's true. Yeah. So what'd you guys do? We drove nothing. into the city a little bit. Um <laughs> they went to you went to the strip club? We had a LAN party. That I'll be pissed at you guys if you that guys was my private dancers party. to the to the house. Oh sick. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's naked. The move. That's the move. The naked, naked ones? ones? They're naked maids. Not the maids, just like yeah. But they strip? Yeah, they strip. Oh, they tight. Did they have a porta pole? It was funny though, because they would do games like Game. Glow sticks? Just glow stick games. They're like, the, right, the, uh, the, with like, the with the ring, ring toss. Oh yeah, ring toss. Wait, what the that? hell what is, this? is this? You guys are experts. Okay. So yes, we are experts. <laughs> ring toss um, is funny. So wh what happens is uh, someone gets an erection and they get up. No, no. So what they do? Uh, so obviously, a lot of house calls will always they uh, they number one house calls. They don't send one girl by themselves. They always have to have a buddy system for like safety and all that stuff, right? Uh, and then they both show up and then they like get straight to the point because they always know they're gonna be in in a room full of probably like Eight plus like fucking loser guys <laughs> the Loser yeah. guys yeah, just super drunk. It's like a bachelor. It's like a bunch of kids. You're like like kids like yeah hey. <laughs> bachelor. Oh, we're gonna play some games. Don't be shy. We're gonna do this. They're trying to collect their money, right? And then there, there's this fucking ring toss game. Right, we're gonna play ring toss. And so they pull out a bunch of those like uh, little raver glow stick things that you can like snap into, you know, yeah. and, and attach yeah. and make necklaces and shit. And then they take one that they keep as just a stick. And then they go over to a couch and they'll go ahead first and do it like a little just yoga pose. Oh and shit! Sticks, put it in their ass. Pick no a fuck, way. stick a light stick. No. In Wait, ass. in the crack or no. inside the hole? In the crack hole, maybe whatever's holding whatever, it. Erect. Yeah, whatever can hold it up. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you gotta, you, all the guys, all the guys gotta get into a line somewhere with like a draw line. There's rules to this shit because you know we're organized and logistical yeah. and stuff. Honor system. And then you take you know a ring and then you connect it as as a glow stick ring and then you do a ring toss. <laughs> and That's we're just hilarious. ring tossing. Like horseshoes. You know? How have I never heard of this? This is hilarious. <laughs> this is amazing. And then if you and if you make it, there's oftentimes a prize like what do a, they do? a dance fart? or whatever. And <laughs> they they fart? fart and shoot the glow stick out. <laughs> the when room. we were when we were doing it, like she was doing it in a circle. We're all sitting around like this, surrounding her, and then we we're throwing it in. And then someone was like, it it built up, and then someone was like, yeah, Shang Chi and the Ten Rings. <laughs> 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 and then like, and then one of the other dudes, right? Dude, that's a good advertisement that is, for the movie. That's actually good again. <laughs> you guys at home haven't seen Shang-Chi, man. You have to go see it. <laughs> one of the other dudes gets like a, he gets a private later, right? He asked one of the girls for a private later in the other room. And so like, he's getting a private and then this girl like put like, put like the rings like in her, you know, like, you know, in her bra because she wasn't stripping it. And then he was saying how like, he was like, she was like, yeah, do you mind if they're in here? And he was like, yeah, that's fine. But then the whole time he was just like thinking about Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. And then he just, he couldn't hold it together. He's like, he all right, yeah, we can't do this anymore. So he just stopped. Was he cry, like laughing the whole time? He was slapping. So he just killed the whole horny vibes. He, oh. Yes, he, he the vibe was killed. You know, there were no, it's, it's like, there are no horny vibes. Yeah, the whole time really, it's just like, There's it's always one guy that's got horny vibes. Yeah, yeah. It's always, it's always just yeah. good times. And then like, you know, you got you give them, you got to respect them. They're doing their job. You tip them well. Just like, like, you fucking feed them, them. You offer them water Yeah, you give them water and then They need to change in a regular room or something. You like really try your best to not be like all sexually weird. But at the end of the day. It's so funny because they're there for such sexual reasons. You're you're actually being even creepier by being so fucking weird. Maybe. Maybe that's why I can't hire a stripper because I think I'm going to be the horny vibe guy. I really don't think you would. Well, really? You, you could smell who's gonna be the horny vibe. I think I am. Yeah, Bart's the really Bart's the horn, Bart's the guy who's like, let's get this done. Aren't we supposed to procreate? And the chick's <laughs> like, what the fuck? He's like, let's get on with this. Jeez. That's what this is for, right? That's what Bart's getting his dick ready. He's like, it's, it's all like, semantic. Wait, I, I can't be hard. What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Point is, we're gonna take you to a strip club. It's really not to disrespect the women or anything. It's yeah. to, uh, you know, just give you a more worldly experience. That like, uh, Yeah, I need more experience. I don't want to play no daycare games, though. What's that mean? <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, uh, do I need to play like, tic, horseshoe. Like, go the dark tic-tac-toe. So you're not, you're not down with the, <laughs> with the horseshoe game? Does that upset every you? Time a, <laughs> are you mad? Every time a ring, every time a ring connects with the, the stick, doesn't she go like, ah? Like, isn't that... Some pressure and some oh, weight. Basically, she's probably like, hurry the fuck up, man. <laughs> she, she's fucking pissed. This one's fucking suck, dude. <laughs> Rings all hitting her in the face, like, fucking aim, bro. <laughs> it's like, you guys suck at this game. We'll, we'll play it at a JK party this Saturday. Dude, I'm down, bro. We'll down. put it in Bart's ass. Yeah, Bart's, Bart's the only ass that is worthy. It's whole, yeah, it's thick enough. To we need to get, like, a stripper. 
plus prostitute here, like someone that's done both, and then we can interview and see which job they like better. Mm. That'd be good. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, that's like, actually fascinating. Because there's so like less invasive. In the stripping world. Yeah. Today's video is brought to you by Upstar. If looking at your credit card statements make you want to scream to the boy like, ah, you are not alone. That's why Upstart is here to help you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I see my life. There's hope right there. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether you're paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, oh no, or funding personal expenses. Over half a million people have used Upstart to get a one fixed monthly payment. That's awesome. Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and your current employment to find a smarter rate for your loan. With a five minute rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from 1,000 to up to $50,000 and receive your funds as fast as one business day after being accepted for your loan. Wow, that's very fast. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today by visiting upstart.com slash off the record. That's upstart.com slash off the record and don't forget to use our URL so that they know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined by your credit, income, and other certain information that you put on your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash off the record. Very good. Very now. Nice. Did you guys watch that uh, movie Zola? No. Sounds familiar. It's like, it's like, uh. Um, Isn't that The Rock's energy drink? Oh, no. Yeah. It, Love it. Is there, uh, Zola. is there energy drink? Zola. 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 <laughs> she, she go, like, the movie is basically. So she had a, a night of being a stripper with a, with a friend that she just met, and she tweets about the whole adventure. <gasps> yes, we did that here. It's gonna be a whole movie, or did they? They already made it already. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's an A24 movie. It's good. You should watch it. Wait, what? Wait, what, what is it though? It's so called Zola. girl had this she, huge she had this Twitter, crazy yeah. like experience with this girl she just met who was like, yo, let's go dance. Like in, I think it was in Florida. And so she goes on this crazy adventure, but she's like, fuck, what the fuck am I doing? She's tweeting. Oh, she's live time. tweeting. She's live tweeting the whole time. And then, and then, you know, it's such a, it's such an intriguing story and so many crazy things happen that it's, they, they made it into a movie. And then it's, it's funny too, because they utilize her tweets throughout. That's wow. Sick. And she says exactly what she's tweeting. And so funny. there wasn't a part in the night where she was like, actually, maybe I shouldn't strip right here randomly with this random person. Um, yes, there were a lot of moments like that, but she couldn't get out of it. Wow. It's intense. Interesting. What, what, it's just intense. reading the Twitter it's story it's, is pretty nuts. Nice. Can we watch this movie? Is it it's, it's coming uh, out? I think you can, uh, is it on Amazon? It might be on Amazon. You can rent it. Zola. Zola. It sounds fascinating. Zola. Too bad we can't go to the Blockbuster and get a VHS yep. of it. Yep. The good old days. I know, man. That last one. I think it's in Oregon. There's one more? Yeah, there's one. One last one, dude. Who's going there, though? Do you guys have a VHS player? I do not. I want to see what this VHS tape is that I have saved up, but I'm afraid that it might be a porno. It probably is, for sure. What do you think it is, like your childhood bike riding or something? Childhood porno. Yeah. Childhood and I recorded like, like fucking a couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I recorded a porno on it or something. I want to see. I want to see it. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. You know, there's stores where I think I don't know if for VHSs, but you can kind of give them like old tapes and be like, "Hey, can you put this on a DVD?" Oh for yeah, me? they could do. Yeah. Do they watch it though? They have to. Yeah, they're watching, dude. They're for sure like being creeps about it. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, I have found I found a VHS tape. Zola tells all the real story behind the greatest stripper saga ever tweeted. I didn't even know there was like a category of stripper. I think it was the only one. Stripper sagas. I don't know. It was pretty good though. I liked it. You, you, so you read the. I read the. Yeah, we did the whole story here on JK News. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, crazy. yeah, you gotta watch the movie. It's pretty yeah. crazy. It's this wild. Does sound quite intriguing. Dude, yeah, that's her friend that oh, she just wow. meets. Oh <clears throat> wow. I'm, I'm literally looking. October 28, 2015. Everything's just happening in, in this, this. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck is happening. What's happening? Um, I just pulled up all the tweets right now for the first time because I never heard about this. So what's, a, what's an example the of something The first tweet says, y'all want to hear a story about why me and this bitch here fell out? It's kind of a long but full of suspense. Me and this bitch right here. Next one, okay, listen, this, this story long. So I met this white bitch at Hooters. I was her waitress. She came in in this old ass big, with this 
old ass, big ass black dude. This is, this is already funny tweets. This is great. So you know as a Hooters girl, we have to talk to our customers. So I sit with them and we get to talk and she tells me she dances. So I'm like, oh yes, bitch, me too. Then she tells me this hulking black man is her sugar daddy. I'm like, oh yes, bitch. Um, oh, I'm like, oh yes, bitch, my SD at home. I feel it, I feel it. Sugar daddy. Yeah. I at home. I was saying San Diego in my head. Okay. So we vibing <laughs> over our hoism or whatever and we exchange numbers and we like, next time you dance, Oh, hum, I'ma come dance with you, and they leave. So the next day I get a text like, bitch, let's go to Florida, and I'm like, huh? She's like, I'm gonna dance to Florida, let's go. Now I'm skeptical, skeptical like, damn, bitch, we just met, we already taken ho trips together, but I oh, went to trips. Florida two months prior so, and made 15K, so low key oh, I was shit. down, so I was like, okay, I'll damn, go. That's who's dope. all going? And when we leaving, all this bitch says is, be ready by eight. So I call her like, bitch, I said, who's all going? She says, my boyfriend, our roommate, and my roommate, uh, and my roommate has a place in Tampa. So I'm like, okay, 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 I'll be ready. So I pack my badass stripper wear and I'm ready. Now my end bomb did not want me to go. He was so hurt. So I had to fuck him calm. And I was like, <laughs> Dude, this is dope. Fuck him, fuck him. I'm in. Oh, okay. And then I left. Good. This is exceeding no, expectation. Good, now when I got in the car, it was a white boy, her boyfriend, yeah. and this hulking black guy, not the same one. So I texted her on the slick while in the backseat like, another sugar daddy? You got a tight bitch. And the black <laughs> dude had her damn phone. So he starts laughing and he goes, I'm using her GPS. No, I'm not at sugar daddy. I've known her and her dude for eight years. We all live together. So Jessica, the white bitch, pulls me to the side and is like, we gonna be at the club all night. This room for Jared, not us, don't even trip. So I was like, yeah, bitch, okay. But trust, I am not laying my head here. So we leave our shit at the motel with Jared and head to the club. So we working. It was kind of slow. It was early Friday night. The club had hella rules, which is why I'm not used, which I'm not used to. I'm full of new type bitch. Um, but this club requires pasties and boy shorts and all this other shit, whatever. So after making about $800, I was ready to go. She was talking to some dude, trying to talk him out of his wall and they exchanged numbers. So I was like, call your man, I'm ready. She calls, the black dude. I'm like, um, that's not your man, but okay. So I pulled it to the side before he pulled up like, what's up with your roommate? And she was like, oh yeah, we're really close. Before I met Jared, I was with him. He was taking care of me. I was like, oh, well, I don't need that. She's like, taking care of me? And stripper language means that was her pimp. So I was like, does Jared know? And she goes, of course not, strike one. So then she goes, I didn't make anything tonight. What you make because he's gonna ask. I said, um, that's not y'all's business, Jess, chill. So he pulls up and as soon as we get in, he goes, what y'all make? We said at the same time, nothing. So he goes, damn, my girl said she had a bad night too. We finna go pick her up, his fiance who lives down here. We pick her up and he goes, nobody made shit. Y'all wanna trap? Trap and stripper lingo means trick. So Jess goes, hell yeah, you got some clients? I'm gonna back on mute. He was like, you can get some. So Jess is like, yeah, I need a trap, but Jared's at the room. And he goes, I wasn't putting y'all in that shit hole. That was not for him, not y'all. That was for him, not y'all. I'm still quiet. We pull up to a nice ass hotel on the other side of town and he goes, I'll get the clients together and text y'all all of this. He handed her a trap phone. So I'm mind blown at this point. So when we get to the room, nice as fuck, just me and Jess. And I start going off. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I'm not about to play with you, ho. I'm going home. She starts crying and she's like, I didn't want to take this trip alone. Please don't leave me. I would be so scared alone. Set up the whole time. She's fucking sobbing. I'm like, OMG, really? Now I'm feeling bad for her though. <laughs> she goes, you can just check the guys in. He's not gonna force you to trap. I said, oh bitch, I know he not. I kill his dead ass. Uh, kill y'all. I know, I know he not. I kill dead ass. Kill y'all. This is really hard. Verbatim. So she cleans herself up, and there's a knock at the door. I open the door, and some fat white man goes, "I'm here for the white girl." So I check his pockets, take his wallet, and let him in. They start fucking right on the bed next to me. It was a fucking mess. A mess. So when they finished, he gave her hundred bucks. I said, "What? You selling puss for a hundred bucks? <laughs> Pussy is worth thousands. You tripping? Pussy oh. is worth thousands. She right though. <laughs> this is like really, really good writing. Though. So right. she like actually starts helping her like make more money throughout. No the No way. Like, she's like stuck in this situation where this dude won't let her leave. So, so she's worth thousands. Bad for the guy, for the girl. You, you saw the movie, yeah? I saw the movie. Yeah. So oh. is it pretty like? Oh yeah, it's pretty accurate. Did you read oh, a tweet shit. first, or did you? I watch watched the movie, movie first, and then I read the tweet. She we read the tweet first. Yeah. This is all one tweet. She's <laughs> a great like it just it just does she say bitch you. that much in the movie too? What? Is, is she saying? Oh, is she yeah, saying she, bitch? Is she the whole playing time? herself? She's, she's saying these lines. Whoa! Is she playing herself? Yeah. No. Damn! I we this is fast. It, so, no, no, it, it no, sucks no, you in so herself. fast. Oh yeah, it does. Because it speeds up so fucking it, fast. It moves fast in the movie. You're like, this is all so far tweet wise. This is all in the span of one hour. 
Holy shit. Whoa. Tweet wise. Yeah, so it goes for like. Dude, how does she have time to do this? She's making 800 bucks. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. She's, like she's telling a story oh, yeah, that happened. Actually, it's not live tweets. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's, it's later. She, she, oh, she, she, it's like, you want to know why we don't hang out, right? So then, boom, she's writing it all out. Mm, wow. That's right. I wonder if they met up with her and got more details. Um, yes, to make the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like to, to hear all the story. Oh, I gotta watch yeah, this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, just, it just keeps getting deeper, but you know, it's really, it's everybody crazy. should just watch the movie. Yeah, yeah. just watch the movie. Dude, Dude I'll be like, sure. here's 20 bucks. Don't even give me a lap dance. Tell me a good stripper story. All I see is this lady, she says, we're doing this all night. She fucked about 20 dudes and her sorry ass pimp only sent three of them. So around 16 a.m. So she really hooked her up. She hooked her up. Wow. She got her like 17 dudes. Wow. She made a killing, yo. And then wow. was charging them like way more. Good for her. She got paid out. I mean, that's that's a very powerful story. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit um, intrigued. Oh, I don't yeah, want to I really want to watch the movie. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, watch don't, don't, don't watch it anymore because it, it, it gets crazier. My favorite phrase is, fuck him calm. Yeah, fuck him calm. Fuck no, him no, calm. Hey, babe, can you fuck me calm? Because I'm not calm right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm manic. <laughs> uh, that scene is good, too.